Welcome back everyone, you're watching Tournus and Damon, the variety streamer who breaks games and looks for hardcore. And this is another first impressions uh, video slash stream. Um, and I heard a lot of good things about this game. Mini Shoots Adventures, it's actually very fresh. It was released like four days ago. And this is a kind of like a cute Zelda plus Metroidvania twin stick shooter game. Uh, so interesting combination of things, which I like. Um, and, uh, well, one thing that impressed me even further is that if you Google or Steam database the game, aka the site where you can see the activity for the game, uh, this game is uh, rocking th plus thousand concurrent players on Steam right now. I think there's some kind of bigger YouTubers are pushing it, I think, plus the Chinese Billy Billy streamers. And uh, yeah, <laughs> for such a game, it's really impressive. I mean, just a like you know, many successful Metrovanias are don't have that many concurrent players, of course. And this game is not even long, apparently either. It's like something ten hours, maybe fifteen. Um, so it's one of those cute games that are really good to play and uh, not that long, also. Uh, the price is also not that high either, it's like well, something about 12 currency of, or average, yeah, depends on whatever currency you have. It's pretty good stuff. Uh, also, apparently the game is made by two people. They even said that in the intro of the game. Um, it's pretty cute on that. Uh, the controller is recommended, I'll be using my Pro Switch controller with the swapped buttons in Steam settings so that I can actually play so, like, if you go to the options here, it's uh, like, what is this? There's no Nintendo controller here. What is this dis discriminant? But yeah, like, uh, the solution is to just pick whatever controller, like Xbox, for example, and then go to the settings on Steam, and uh, if you're using a Pro Switch controller, then just uh, enable, like, a button swap. So that if you actually want to click A button, it's gonna work as A button, otherwise it's gonna be reversed Xbox. Alright, so uh, also another thing, I know it's not really that gameplay or anything, but I, <laughs> this game got something interesting coded into So there's this main menu music, check this out. So if I'm L-tabbing or moving my mouse cursor in different monitor, check, this, ch check out what happens. It's like, how do they... Is the game engine understands the music's notes? Because you can still hear the last played note or instrument. It's like a fade echo effect kind of thing. Continuation of the last played note. It doesn't just shut up immediately. It's It still plays this note. Yeah, I, I mean, probably nobody really gonna care or anything, but yeah, this is something interesting. Maybe it's the entire game, maybe main menu music, only that, but yeah, just something I noticed right away. All right, uh, that's all a, a kind of like presentation intro thing, and there's nothing else to show. Settings, I guess. Uh, aiming mode automated, accessibility, there's difficulty settings. Game speed, best uh, build is if you want to play in other ways. And it's build infinite energy. Ah, okay. This is it. Oh, oops. Did I just quit? Uh, yeah, it could be mini. Of, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's basically the game engine understands. Sorry, I quit the game. <laughs> Whoops, I misclicked. Uh, yeah, it's uh, just a little detail about the game engine being un uh, uh, tr able to track the music notes which indeed could be the MIDI file. Shenanigans. I wanted to click on newsletter. Ah, it opens a browser page. All right. It doesn't say any more about the message about the developers being Dua. All right. I played this at this game already a little bit. So before the stream, well, like first 10 minutes of the game. So everything works fine. Man, the controls are so good, like the Slick and fluent, I love it. I'm gonna play in advance, I don't know if I need to put this in my YouTube thumbnail or anything. 
Recommend it if you're accustomed to top-down shooters, if you like more tension combat, absolutely. Why not? Bring it a little bit closer to Toho. Even though I don't think this game is going to be that hard. Waking up main protagonist. <laughs> yeah, this game goes just right into business. Alright, we got a little slideshow here. Got Sing. So are these the there's these like space cute spaceship thingies. Uh, the race of them or something, and uh, one of them gets hit by the corruption crystal and frozen in time apparently or something. And evil dudes appear, and that's it. <laughs> Wake up, little one. The corruption has emerged. Unchosen is back. Search for your shipling friends. Retrieve the, my primordial powers and restore balance to the great crystal. So yeah, this is the art style of the game. Pretty cute. And uh, yeah, it's going to be kind of like a minimalistic uh, hand-drawn art style, as you can see already. Let's go. So hearts, HP. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> so apparently we're not able to fly in this game. We're just like kind of like hovering, yeah. I got achievement uh, for falling into water immediately. <laughs> but yeah, this is, uh, again, the reason I said Zelda here is because, yeah, this game is going to actually use the principles of some basic puzzles, well, at least at the start of the game. So gotta be like that. Really cute. Let's see, there's a crystals here blocking our way. We need to solve that problem by... Oh man, th there's a sound effect when I, like, you go to these rocks. That's cute. But yeah, ramp. So this is their, like, one way, you see. <laughs> Definitely the 2D Zelda design. All right, we got um, our gun. Now we can shoot, though. It's really primitive. It's short range, shitty damage, and uh, thickness is bad, too. But this is the start of the game. Oh, man. That's... The sound effects, the, des the design, the effects, and everything. This if it's, like, really satisfying. And look, look at the sound effect. Mm, collecting some crystals things. I think it's experience, maybe. Yes. Good stuff. You know, Tornus can be satisfied. Not just, you know, hardcore tactics or strategy games. I'm, I'm like, this is really good. It can be satisfied by these things, too. I wonder if this game got secrets, though. Like the... These hidden walls and stuff. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, it's barely a secret, but yeah. I don't know what we're collecting, but I assume it's some kind of level up bar, maybe. Okay, now we can... Can we kill the turrets? I guess maybe not yet. There's gonna be a lot of mechanics right now, it's just... Uh, the, the game will slowly introduce them. So right now, the basics. He's shooting and uh, he expects you to go to the... I f you know what the, this thing reminds me? These streamers who have the, you know, t tips jars and uh, bits, uh, Twitch bits uh, jars. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, what? Can we change the aiming manual? Manual aiming with the right stick of the mouse, assisted, automatic, automatically aims and shoots when... I think I had automated uh, in the settings, but yeah, manual might be also good. This might give me enough for the... Opa! A level up, yeah. So we got the crystal thing, yeah. Yeah, it says plus one. Upgrade mini shoot. 
Ah, uh -huh, that's how it is. All right, so my camera blocks. There is some kind of uh, how are these things called again? It's like um these golden bugs from Spelunky. <laughs> uh, well, it's a late a golden ladybugs or something, or it's the these uh, Egyptian themed ones. I yeah, uh, there's also the icon for some tablets and some kind of bread. Uh, um, well, I can remove camera right now. Uh, these are red uh, thingies right here. Uh, this is about currency of the game. Yeah, Unicorn uh, Lord looks different today, yeah. Have you seen the check? Did you check the stats on the Steam deb database for this game? God damn. People loving this one. Scarabs. Ah, well, I mean, they're... F well, yeah, I guess scarabs will be correct. Okay, so this is like in a Metrovania slash Zelda fashion here. You can see these items here, the collectibles, yeah, the good stuff, upgrades. So what do we have here? Move speed. Is there explanation for anything? I guess we can downgrade these as much as we want to. Bullet speed, fire range, damage. <laughs> damage, fire rate. Crit critic chance, critic. It's a <laughs> critic, nostalgia critic. Anyway, um, umbrella signs. Yeah, <laughs> it kind of reminds me of these uh, Chinese um, uh, coins, though, a little bit, but yeah, not exactly. So, what the game does not let me upgrade other things. So it's because we probably need uh, the features first for that. Fire range. I think fire range might be good. Fire range is good option, yeah. Because my range is kind of poo poo. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, but yeah, Link, I know you probably want to see my continuation of my playthrough, of course, more, and or other people too, but. Uh, well, I want to play some other games too to check out them first impressions and whatnot. Also, I still have like two. You probably know which games actually I'm talking about. I have two more there drops to handle. Uh, but yeah, then uh, we'll be free from them for the time being. But yeah, it's gonna be uh, chaotic. Like soon, this. Uh, yeah, the Elgin Chronicles is going to be released uh, soon in Steam. For, uh, in two weeks, there's going to be King Arthur expansion. I mean, the SMT in two months and uh, Elden Ring DLC, like this few other games. <clears throat> Until the 10th when Turbo Kid drops. Uh, you mean you're going to be playing Turbo Kid? Or it's just an excuse for you to stop playing also the Unicorn Overlord because you decided to drop that challenge. You will because it's another dare one. Actually, I don't have dare for the Turbo Kid. I didn't, like... Actually, I was uh, slow to get a lot of points on a lot of them. So. Unless they're just uh, good rewards and stuff like that. What is this? We rescued some duder. We need to talk to him, yeah. There's like a hub or something here. Seems like this is a hub. Oh, whoa. That's a water, yeah, okay. Seems some kind of hub area. This is, this is safe point. I feel like this is energy for the ship. I just don't have a mechanic for energy. Gun level 2, 5 of these thingies. Trait. So, <laughs> he wants to... Uh, Why did he need that currency? You already damaged, sir. Why you need to hold on to your gun? Or maybe this currency will fix him. Is there a map or something? Probably not. Who needs maps anyway? Well, there's some icon here. Oh, by the way, Link, have you played a game called Unsighted with capital letters? Man, that one was a surprising banger. 
It's also replayability there too. Alright, let's go somewhere. Oh shit. Oh, that was close. Actually, how do I restore my HP? Ah, maybe that is energy. Ah, that might be a, a HP recovery crystals. What? I need dash for this. I need dash for that 100%. As you just go, yeah, the game is a little, a little bit there. Dude, this ultimate it's aiming is fucking me over. I wanted to kill the crystal thing, yeah, but the game was aiming at the enemy. Mm, I mean, manual aiming might be also... Like, I want to test manual probably at some point, too. Actually, maybe I should do it now. Um, where is it? Oh, got a YouTube sub there. And I haven't even posted the link in my chat, so it's somebody from YouTube. Cheers. Uh, thank you, thank you. Wait, where is that change again? Customize control. Ah, aiming mode right here. Or orient your shit towards enemies when you shoot. So what is manual? Looks chilling and relaxed. Yeah, well, one moment. One moment. And I'm back here. Uh, getting a little... Um, some, Im some important DMs here, so... I probably need to do some other mm, small pauses later too. Alright, so where we are? Oh, what's that? This looks like a big ship. Ah, w ah, these are also HP thingies. Yeah, okay. Do I need to burn this forest or something or fly over, jump over it? Well, ah, the button probably will dis make it disappear, yeah. Another passage. Oh, sh whoa, 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 Okay, dude. By the way, ah, I was testing m Oh, wow. Ow. Ow. Maybe manual aiming is actually not good. <laughs> I'm missing quite a bit now. There's a champion here. Some of these balls are tricking me, okay. Yeah, with manual aiming it feels like... Well, I, I think uh, if I would use mouse uh, for that it would be better to <laughs> still. I played... Sometimes I'm a rebel and I actually play games that are intended for controller with mouse just as fine. And yeah, you need these assists or... Something else. All right, let's go back to the ultimated. Let's see. Uh, another DM here. One moment. All right, I'm back. Nice. Uh, got handled the uh, situation. So let's see how the game works. If I go to the oh my god, my look at the range of my bullets. It's so disadvantageous. Uh, but yeah, just upgrades. So, uh, if I go out a different room, do I respawn every enemy? Yeah, I probably should have maybe went backwards. Also, is everything in this game hits for 1 HP or just because of difficulty? Wait, is it just me or this automated... M oh, oh, oof, okay. I think, uh, like, when I have automated aiming, the bullets are homing a little bit. Did you notice that? Not give up, yeah. Where is death? <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna be here, yeah. Sag. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's Zelda and Metrovania, right? Seems like... But that does mean I can farm. Let me see if they are homing or not. Or it's because of that uh, circle, uh, circle enemy type they home bullets. Yeah, it feels like there's a bit of assist going on. She actually prefers that I stay up too instead of sleeping early. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, everything is uh, 
spawning. Well, I, I guess that means I can farm currency. Well, you know, it's fine. I mean, like Hollow Knight or every other game, you can do whatever. Let's see if... Uh, th do they respawn? It's because probably this is like a, some kind of transition to a different area, I feel like. Ah oh, no! Look at that. They're 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 actually dead. Maybe wait a second. Maybe I lost my collect. Like when I died, I lost progress of my collectibles or, or like the power up. Because yeah, I don't know yet anymore. If somebody can compare my amount of crystals before and after I died. But uh, dude, I need like skills to dodge these guys. Where's my dash? Like from trailer, <laughs> I need my dash. Oh, oh God, I'm dead probably. Do I? Let's see if I lost. No, I I don't. I haven't. Uh, I have a level up. Okay, okay, okay. I'll just damage up then. Damage up. Okay, it's okay. We're good. Maybe I should not go there. <laughs> um, downgrade X. Downgrade. Just damage. Maybe we need to go to the other way first. <laughs> um, they curve at the end. Yeah, they curve, but I, I don't think the was were they doing that on automated or oh, through manual shooting? Maybe just the default uh, way how the everything. Oh, it's a. I think it's like a one and a half of the kind of half hard container there. If this game is inspired by Zelda. Let's see if this passage is easier. Some kind of dungeon here. Turrets. I need dash through here, I think. Is it supposed to be uh, Octorok? <laughs> Alright. Never mind. Okay, shortcut. What is that? Uh, yeah, this icon is, feels like some kind of hub. I think it's supposed to be pointing to the left. Oh, honey? Honey piece? Maybe some kind of ancient artifact piece. Yeah, this looks like way easier <laughs> than passage. Maybe you can brute force some really good upgrade if, you, if I actually went there and defeated that uh, room, but I don't know. Or maybe damage up is all I needed. Oh, the big one. <laughs> ah, okay, 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 I see. I almost fell for this. Oh, we got the, the umbrella thingy. Let's go. And also, peace. It might be a map. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, yeah, boy. So we got these plates, and it's actually a map. Select map. Main objective, distress, a signal, lost power. Alright. Mmm, it's in real time updated. Mmm, useful. Check out what's there then. But first, maybe that's HP. Yeah, <laughs> oh, come on. Ah, uh, it's uh, do, do we have a map here? Ship position unknown. Ah. Uh-huh, okay, okay. Yeah, this area looks easier than the other one. Mm 
If you watch trailer of this game on Steam page, you're gonna see that this game kind of becomes later like Toho a little bit, or games like Runes, if you remember that one. Oh, I, blur I it was my fault. There was no space to dodge, literally. And this is where range is important. Or, you know, if I had a dash or something, it would be nice. Okay. That's probably a quarter of the container. Yeah. <laughs> they made them look cute, too. The passage continues. Is this supposed to be a puzzle? Oh, Ben. Wait, so we have a ship position unknown. Oh, okay. We need some kind of mechanic. First of all, we need bomb here, I think, and uh, we need to light torches or something. If it's torchable. Right. But how am I supposed to remember that? Like, uh, the map does not really show that there's a like, cave passage, so I kind of need to remember. Or maybe that there's just another piece of the map that's displayed that I wasn't there. Well, I have a good memory, at least right now in my age. So it should be fine. I wonder how much HP you recover by touching the, the plant crystal. Got level up. Um, um, move speed also is not a bad option, by the way, to dodge. A move speed is good, yeah. Oh, three crystals. Oh, yeah, okay. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> of course. I like how the, if you damage ships or more enemies, they become like a different color. Is that an actual th map that I can travel to? Something interesting there. A ramp? Wait, how am I supposed to get there? Ah, Metro Venice, of course. So maybe fall from somewhere. Oh, they have stereo on that too. Look at that. Right, left, right. I'm sorry if you have a broken speakers and you just realize that by the way. It's okay, you can buy new ones. And I help you I help you to realize that there is a speaker issue. Or earbuds. Or you're wearing your headphones or earbuds in reverse. That also happens a lot, it seems like. Yeah, I'm not sure, like, uh, what are these caves supposed to signify? Is it like a... Just the side areas? Caves? Yeah, like there's... Need to classify them somehow, because there's a lot of them apparently too. Yeah, the speed is good. Yeah, bitch. By the way, does this thing uh, respond? Because we are getting the s bigger currency, so I'm wondering if it actually even responds. Yeah, you see, they have light here. What is this? It's a, f it's a friend. What are, what are you doing? You want me to follow you? Wait, am I supposed to race it? Well... <laughs> yeah, if it's a race, then I already lost. Ooh, 
red. Huh? Huh. Did he approve me or like, I don't know. I think I've been here, yeah, there's enemies. The lol. Yeah, one hit is a uh, full container. Duh, okay. This is where I fought that thing, yeah? Yeah, I'm not sure it spawned there, so it's kind of like a race, maybe? Well, you need the boosters and b dashes and better speed, if that's the case, I don't know. It feels like we need to please this thing, because yeah, it spawned with the reds, like, color, I don't know. But I might forget about this area. <laughs> There's no, maybe we'll get some items that, like, there's supposed to be some kind of scanner for these things that we need to rescue or help. Lost power, distress signal, and, yeah, stuff like that, just, I don't know. Something needs to be first done. Our main objective is collect uh, these umbrella thingies and uh, get strong. Ah! Damn it. I don't die. I really need another hard container. This just three hits is shit. Oh god. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a new one. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, it's uh. Too bad it does not heal me. Wait, can I even kill this thing? Yeah, I can. Jesus, dude. I have to be more uh, brave about getting to the back side. I feel like I need to dash here. Whew, okay, dude. Whew. I almost lost there. Four, by the way. Yeah, I think I have to race it. Yeah, it definitely feels like I need to race it there. Game the vibes. The game does not communicate about anything, and I probably like it. I mean, not probably. I like actually. I don't like hand holding things. It's when I play these type of games. Like imagine tunic game. You know, would be hand holding. Yeah. I think people would. Do it. <clears throat> Not like the game that much then anymore. So this is another exit here, huh? I have no idea where I am anymore. Oh yeah, an upgrade. Three damage, fire range, fire rate, bullet speed. Let's get that. No, new enemy types. I feel like I'm not supposed to be here, but fuck it. I'm walking shortcuts. Uh, I think I recognize this place. Or maybe not. <laughs> Damn, everything looks different. At least we're in the overworld right now, yeah? We can, yeah, it's relatively close. Yeah, okay. <laughs> of course it's a bait. Nice. Chargers. Good old spawn attacking enemies. Give me that. Four HP, four HP containers would be good. Is it just me or I can get that red crystal? But I. Might be a troll or something else here. 
because I don't think I can pass through unless I can phase through things. Yeah, I've been there. I would not be surprised if this game actually allows you to do shit in not intended order either. I mean, it's part of the Metrovenus. Yeah, these things are Octoroks. So enemy can uh, levitate a, uh, on a water and I cannot. Great. Maybe I'll get ability later though about it too. Shit. <laughs> There's a button here somewhere. Mm. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. A lot of currency coming my way. Damn, these things got... What the... Just die already! What are you just doing? Why are you so tanky? Wait, all of you guys tanky? Okay, no, no. It's like elite or something. So enemies can shoot across the entire map uh, if they activate it already. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't seem like I can do much here. Need to push the buttons. This is where I came from, right? Ah, never mind. Crystals. And find something on that north. There's a button there to the left. Wait, how did I miss that one? Ah, because there's a water. Yeah, I need to say, I need dash, dude. Uh, that will open up these uh, uh, pl plates. Fine, let's just go back. I'm not even sure I'm done in that area either. There, there was something on the left there too, right? In the cave. I think I didn't went to the left. Huh? Uh... <laughs> okay. By the way, we can get a better cannon now. Wow. That's crazy. This was a juicer place. Cheers, mate. Let's go back and get that uh, level 2 cannon and gun. I can keep buying them. Well, at this point, I'm not sure if these... So, do, do these enemies respawn, I wonder? The music kind of reminds me a little bit of Fez. Like this track, especially. In th like, it's a similar motive on this track. I can literally... I have a Fez in my playlist. Uh, I could prove it, even. Madame, not it's a. Oh, speaking of fez cubes, <laughs> this might be a, sp a, sp a special ability. But yeah, we got a gun. Yes. Okay, let's see how much we can. Bullet speed. You know, things get faster, better. Did I just fart it? Ah, it's because I'm standing on these 
plants that respawn. A, hey, we got a boost. LT, left trigger, yeah. Nah. Ah, the ship got the... Yeah, I see, I see, I see. There's a battery there. So I assume I need the boosts, otherwise, uh, yeah. It's mechanic. But in combat, I can just boost dodge too, I guess. Man, look at the cute, like the ship starts being like a... Um, it's like the sweat. It's like he's sad about it that he doesn't have energy anymore. He's tired. Should probably check some other places too, but actually where we are. Nah. So these could... Oh, ow! There's a sniper. This is like next area, yeah. Clearly. It's okay. If uh, the more dangerous, we can farm more crystals probably too. Oh, there's the snipers there. They can... Hey, that's not fair. <laughs> Fucker. Loading. I think that's the first time we've had loading screen even. Oh, wait. Now the ship is displaying the lost uh, distress signals, I mean. After I got the power. Interesting. Oh, that's like a special trick, I guess. So what are these? Is that HP? Doesn't seem like it is. Let's wait until they respawn. But they might. Maybe just uh, the world setting, just like nothing. Something cool you can do. Yeah, I don't think it's actually HP anymore. Ah, maybe it's energy. It's energy. It's energy. It's energy. It's energy. But yeah, this thing is used for other abilities too later on, so understandable. What the fuck? Fall from somewhere? Do I need to... Ah, maybe I need a jump ability <laughs> like, or something. Such a tease, man. What the fuck? I hate the Metro Venus sometimes. <laughs> so it's not easy to restore HP right now. It's only usually dropped from some special enemies. Opa! Energy up, and I got it. Energy max. Cool. The lone. Yeah, this is not exactly the greatest game to look at the chats all the time. Projectile speed is high on some enemies. No, I don't want to die, damn it. Why don't get HP when I level up? Come on. Wish more Metro Venus let you make notes on the map so I know when you realize the room requires something. Yeah, well, it's console game oriented. Yeah, like with controller. Yeah. Pins and custom things would be nice for sure. Maybe that's a suggestion or feedback we can do to the devs too, by the way. The, when you buy the game or launch it for the first time, it literally says that... Go ahead, bitch. We uh, want your feedback. <laughs> oh, there's a new upgrade. It's probably for the booster. Boost speed. That was like a puzzle soul sound effect or something, yeah. Oh, we're getting to the dungeon soon. 
Oh shit, we got dungeon already unlocked? What? Dude, what's with these heart containers everywhere? Is boss gonna give me jumping ability or like... Let's see, am I even supposed to be going there now? How do you restore HP in this game? Did you die already? Just, just die? Maybe here? This is uh, where I came from, tutorial, yeah. I, I think there was nothing in the tutorial zone. At least on the first glance. I guess I just die, and that's the faster way to restore HP. Well, if I unlock the, the boss area, why not to kill it? Safe point. Because obviously I'm going to get some power there. Yeah, just kill me. I cannot recover HP. It's a key. Now we can race that thing. Ah, right, with the boost we might actually race the, the thing too, yeah. Well, I mean, we have a lot of places we can go to, and I'm surprised that we just... There's like a second zone also that I can probably find a map. Oh god. It's kinda... A little... Too many bullets for my tastes. For the different... It's, it's based on my position, so... If I move a lot, it I actually make it worse. These some turrets mechanics going against you. Basically, we're not out of the goals or things we can do right now. So as long as we're not in a you know this dumb position where we don't know what to do, we'll figure out something. Wait, the enemy just dies. <laughs> it's the first time I saw that in this game. might give the special currency. I still feel like they don't respawn. But who knows? Fuck my range. Just a little bit more will be nice there. Violent Roomba. <laughs> It's a key, yeah. Oh, there's a passage there, I'm not dumb. Besides, it literally uh, shows that there's a stone there too in animation. Pretty sure you can just literally just miss these things, yeah, unless it marks on your map somewhere. There's no dungeon map in this game either, it seems like. Careful, I can recover HP that easily in this. Oh, come on, get your ass here. There's definitely gonna be bomb uh, uh, mechanic. We've seen already many uh, places where you can use bombs. In, in starting area, there is also... <laughs> Everything is a trap in this game. If it's in the center of the room. Oh shit. At the chargers. Woo! Got him. I've got to level up almost. 
But yeah, Chad, how do you like this game? Like, I've been streaming it for almost one hour now, and, uh, well... I think it's uh, understandable why this game is super popular right now on uh, in terms of Steam stats, like 1000 plus concurrent players for Metrovania that it got just released, and I haven't really seen that much PR on it, this game, either. And especially since right now there's a turn-based festival and this game is not turn-based, so... There's a disadvantage, I guess, to some games. Bullet hell. Oh, well, I mean, you can. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, so like, you can make. Ex also, yeah, you can literally just make cheats here in settings. Wait, Isaac. Wait, what? The wait, what? What was that right now? Did you see it on? It, it's like. Sorry, I. Uh, so, <laughs> it's some. Did you see it again? No. Okay. There's a Steam overlay for soundtracks. If I click this home button, strange. On the my Nintendo controller. It, it, it scared me because I saw Isaac on a screen suddenly, like the Bionic of Isaac. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess it also got hurt. That's okay. So what I wanted, yeah, uh, so you can accessibility here, game speed, invisibility, and in infinite energy, also difficulties here. I'm playing on the hardest. Which is, you know, optional, obviously. Yeah, I think for that racing you need boost speed level upgrades. Just seems like some limited amount of energy, or like, well, I already found two batteries, <laughs> or maybe there's a extra capacity for the ship, too. Maybe we can get some of the damage ups. I just beat it this morning and I'm working on 100%. It's really fun and I like accessibility options. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Yeah, this game is really short compared to what a lot of games these days try to do with the replayability or like rug lights or whatever like the the service um, live service games so this game is approximately 10 to 15 hours from what I heard but uh, for the streamers it might be longer because uh, well we're streamers we have to deal with tech issues technology and the chats community. Alright, let's see. Seems like I need dash. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get dash in this uh, dungeon. Grind, which is not really... But yeah, I mean, some people like grind, but yeah. It's uh, arguments against some games for sure. This one is a charge type. Oh, HP. Man, HP is so rare in this difficulty, like, or it's... I mean, there's no really penalty of dying in this game either, I think. It's, in fact, it makes it probably better, because you can farm uh, some red crystals that way. But by the hints on this dungeon, yeah, we're gonna get, seems like, the dash ability. Like, here, you can, you can see that I need it. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> well, maybe not just yet, but that's close. <laughs> can just go away. Oh, that's not cool. Yep. Secret here or something. I 
think if I fall down, I don't take damage. Boss key. Dash. Calling it. This is like, we gotta get it. Mm hmm. LT. Ah, he flips. Wait, where's the boost now? Ah, wait, it first dashes and then boosts. Wait, so, okay, so it's like a combination of things now. But what if I don't want to dash and just boost? <laughs> Can I disable power-ups? Nope. I guess that's how it works. You guessed too good, yeah. Nah, just gaming experience. It's like if you're playing a platformer Metrovania, you definitely expect to some degree to have a double a double jump at some point. Is that a third one? Damn. The I know it's cute animation, but I was like Oh, we can skip these. Was there something I could uh, reach? There's a key there. I think the boss had like passage to the left with dash. Great and very double again. Well, actually, not many games even stole that idea from the Sympathy of the Night, but yeah. Great cannot kill that. Thank you that there's some different bullet colors too. Because if everything be just red, it's like. I think orange is like thirds. Yes, it's always a trap, usually. Large rooms. Kind of like Isaac, if you will, yeah. So. Wait, I can just levitate with the boost? Wait, I... Huh? Oh. Wait, how does that work then? Huh? So I need to have acceleration already or something. Or a very specific angle. At certain speed, yeah, I think uh, you need to be at top speed with a boost. And then you have to have like a good angle too, yeah, it's really not consistent. Pretty sure maybe there's speedrun strat or something with that too, but...
I'm just checking since... Only on the right seems like the content for me. What is this, by the way? Some kind of tooth. <laughs> well, collectible. Yeah. Fucking Roombas. I don't think I touched that. Yeah, we probably need to go around this room to touch that. Hmm. 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 What about this, though? Ah, maybe that's the part of the the boss area on right uh, on top or right. Not sure actually. Oops. Yeah, with controller, this kind of shit might be slightly harder than on mouse. <laughs> Ah, I think I could have, yeah, I could have destroyed that area too. Seems like only one passage so far. Plus that suspicious area there. Yeah, you need to have like a good angle or and plus speed. Okay. Ah, it's a boss key. Yeah. <laughs> it's a boss key. What is this door? Or button, I mean. Seems like I clicked it. Yeah, it's, I think it's the part of the process that I already did. Be nice to find uh, the third. To give me HP. Kind of whack that uh, the HP recovery is so hard uh, <laughs> right now. <laughs> well, come on, there's like a Zelda laces. Ah. Damn, I won't. <laughs> I guess now I know. First boss of the game. Let's fucking go. By the way, there was this cool game, I think it was called uh, uh, something Rogue, something from 
in one moment. Rook Invader? No, 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 that's different. Stalvert Rook, maybe? Stalvold Rook. Yeah, yeah, the Stalvold Rook. That's from developers of Arsene Games from 2016. Yeah, that was unfortunately a hidden gem at this point. Yeah, but the game is good. I played it a lot. It's uh, basically you have robots and you. F it's a similar concept. You're finding upgrades for your robot ship and uh, finding the bullet uh, hell style things. And um, really good, good game. It's also action roguelite, technically, yeah. It's not a story slash Metrovania, it's uh, action roguelite, yeah. Bionic, Bionic Deuce, yeah, Bionic Deuce is... Uh, Bionic Deuce and... Uh, how do you spell that? Uh, I'll give you in the chat right now. It's a good game. Recommend it. Oh, it's actually on sale, 75% off right now. And it's like, costs three uh, currencies. Three dollars, three years. Another game uh, that uh, Crazy Waffles already said, the name Bionic Duos. That's also a good game from the same devs that I played a lot in the past on stream too. All right, there we go. Um, it just uh, reminded me about the, the Star Wars Rook gameplay reminded me of this game. Especially now we're fighting a boss. Like that game also features a bunch of epic boss fights. Ouch, I did it to myself. Not that bad. But yeah, multiple phases incoming, definitely. Ah, the level up is like a bomb effect. Like from Toho games. It clears the screen. Should probably level up something. Nope. So I think this game features Toho style shift, aka focused movement. I think you, the game doesn't didn't explain it, but I think it's a, a button. And for boss fights, I think shift is really good. What I'm talking about is this one moment controls. Uh, there's some spoilers, but whatever. Uh, for power of time, power of spirits, whatever. Uh, accurate movement. Yeah, there we go. it's even shift. Yeah, the developers know about Toho games, clearly. The tutorial didn't really sh say in this game anything about it, but yeah, A button. I would recommend using it. Especially if you're familiar with Toho games. Machine achievement, beat the first boss. So why we did that? We got the skull. Corruption. Actually, isn't there like only four of these skull icons in the inventory? There's no way this game only got four bosses. Or maybe it is. Ah, well, four and then final boss, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, most of these bosses, if not all of them, we've seen in the game trailer on Steam. Ah, oh, there's the location of the next boss. Oh, yeah, there's four crystals, uh, skulls. Well, okay, I think we did everything in the dungeon, yeah. Now I cannot shoot down the ramp. Well, now we have the dash. And yeah, we can do other things too. Wow. A bit aggressive. 
I still think we're gonna get power to swim eventually. I feel like that might be zone number three, actually. If the boss is in another place. Uh -huh. Killing some enemies spawn uh, solutions. So you level up five critic chance. <laughs> critic chance. Got dash ability, I think. Or jumping the boost. Need to find a map for this area. Don't, like, I mean, we got a new ability, yeah, so we need to double check everything. <laughs> That's every time in Metrovania happens. Dude, what the fuck is this? Do you need jump like a, ex like a booster up? Like, the only way. Like... Yeah, jump. It spawns me at the start here, yeah. And if I go here, there's good. Oh, never mind. Found something. Ah, uh, need the power up ability. Can go here. Ah. So I think we're actually done then. House there looks like a head. Yeah, I think we're done here. Do you think I can win in a race against that spear thingy? How to get there? and other crap is needed here. In fact, this, I came from a different location, yeah. Seems like it's just a combination of uh, things I need to do. Dude, I need another container piece. Enough of this. Oh, speaking of that, I found a secret. Yes. Now I can dash through there, you yeah. know. Okay.
Is this cave where I can trace? I think. Yeah, on the right. Some kind of power up thing here. Require the ability. There's more. Ah, wait, wait. You see the, the like it's a Knight of Scandal mechanic. Well, <laughs> or a tunnel, basically, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's an exit, yeah. Night of Swarm. But yeah, since we're stronger, it's like better to clean the rooms and. Okay, there we go. Right. It feels like a thing from Sony Colors, if you know what I'm talking about. Aha, uh -huh, boosts. Nice. We got energy here. Oh, yeah, we're gonna win against that thing for sure now. Oh, it's ch it cheats. Okay. GG. Faster than you. So, what I got for that? Child of the Crystal, you found one of my spirits. Bring them all back to safety. And their secret tower will open. <laughs> Rumber banding. <laughs> Bullets, bullets, bullets. Bullet. Mm, okay. Spirit, you say, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. I see there is eight spirits in the game, apparently. I still have no idea what the fuck is on the right side of this interface. Seems like a lot of things to upgrade, or maybe it's like a second tier upgrade, yeah. I could imagine my ship is going to evolve eventually in the game. One thing that's, that's interesting about this is like... There's this segment. It's a different passage here. Let's see if I missed something there. This is the passage back, yeah. What was on the left then? Some fighting and what's here? Exit. Uh -huh. Exit. Ah, right. This is the actually. This is where I need to go. Kinda. Yeah. So there's probably this is where I needed to use dash eventually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was just a way to go here from this area too. It's a shortcut. Yeah, yeah, we open a shortcut. So it's either that or that. Yeah, can you even complain about this game in some kind of fashion? I don't know, like critique it. I mean. I am very happy so far. I mean, I know what genre it is, I know what game it is gonna be, I like, and uh, controls are good. Yeah. The fuck. Okay, so this is area designed in mind that I'm supposed to have a power ups. Yeah, you can see that. Seems like I aggroed all of these enemies prematurely. Yeah, like by accident. There's even ch champion here. Auto targeting might be annoying sometimes if there's an enemy closer to you and it retargets. I feel like these type of enemies don't respawn.
Yeah, it is Zelda. Yeah, it, it's uh, advertised as a Zelda meets Metrovania genre. Is this just me, or this looks like a, you know, a dull joke? Gotcha. Secret? I see enemy. Ah, look at this. Now we unlock the mechanic. The the map is showing the spirits and other crap too. I lost power. Oh, at the start of the game, there's almost a power there. Yeah, okay. Five. Actually, nah. I don't need that upgrade. Just collect them. Shortcut. How many of these coins I got? Ten. I think we need a twenty-two or three for the next one. here before? Probably not. Yeah. Oof, that was... Ooh, a new enemy type. Ah, it's a Zelda inspired probably again. Yeah, like these jumper and fox. Forgot how they're called in a cannon. Oh, they're cold. By the way, can I dash through bullets? Like, with the iframes? I'm not sure I can do that. Oof. I'm dead. Wait, we're not gonna respawn at the start? Oh, yeah. Okay. I guess it makes sense. Tektites? Yeah, pro tektites. Yeah, desert mountain jumping bug thing. Yeah, yeah, these fucks. Oof. I mean, I don't have to go there, really, but I got a shortcut, so nobody's gonna stop me. That is so cool. Yeah, this is a chill game. I'm glad that I started playing it. I can probably even play it at night, too, a little bit. Stay focused and explore and keep killing things. It's not like my comment. My commentary is kind of optional anyway here in this type of game. It's not a turn based analytical thing there. <laughs> Mainly communicating with you guys, obviously, here. Man, these jumping dudes. Ow. Seems like I need slightly stronger damage in this area. How many more? Jesus. It seems like a uh, first kill on enemy gives you more crystals than uh, re the, like, the amount of crystals. Uh, yeah, it's different, I feel like. 
prevent over grinding farming. I guess. There's so many abilities that we're missing still, like, you see the spoilers in a setting. Uh, 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 like, honestly, developers, you can kind of, like, hide, uh, like, in controls the, what the, like, until you unlock a feature, it's gonna say XXX or something, yeah? A lot of games actually do that, too. Ever since Tunic came out, I've been wanting to play games like this. Yeah, I actually, I know, I mentioned Tunic earlier in the stream, yeah. Good stuff indeed. I still need to play a lot of more Metrovanias myself. Man, man, imagine Tornus playing Rabi Ribi. Man, this how many hours I have to fucking play that game if I want to 100%. <laughs> like, thinking about this game, yeah, like also reminded me about Rabi Ribi. Because weeb stuff. Had the pleasure to try escape the Mad Empire today. Had a strong feeling it was made for you. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's not the wrong thing to say. Also, hey there, good to see you. Uh, just, uh, you know, Tornus time is limited. If only there was a Tornus 2 who would... And Tornus 3 who would uh, play more stuff. Or <laughs> and then we combine our videos together in, like, streams. <laughs> or at least, you know, having a manager. Or a waifu. Or both. Wait, am I stuck? Okay. That seems like something I need to explode and then there's a button here. Just tell YouTube Tornus to play that other game. What do you mean, that other game? Don't be shy, tell me. I'm not gonna be offended. Hard to YouTube Tornus that. <laughs> hmm, seems like there's a Nara's Kennel mechanic here and uh, some bombs mechanic too. I mean, I shouldn't be in this area, but I'm farming. Well, not farming, I'm. Well, technically, I'm just exploring. Who knows? So, in games like this, I don't think I'm gonna just, like, all the hard container pieces are gonna be behind some mechanic. What the fuck is this? Camera zooms, it's probably something gonna happen here. The YouTube Tornus plays the Escape Mad Empire while Twitch Tornus plays this game. <laughs> Fair enough. Secret. Oh my god, that's actually a legit secret, dude. Wait, I'm gonna collect that scarab. Oh my god, oh my god. God, that was so close. Maybe I can just uh, dash into it. Do I have to kill it? That was actually a secret. This is like Korok. I had to shoot suspicious. Well, I mean, it was kind of obvious that there is something there, I guess, but yeah. So now we have confirmation that this game got Korox system. Collectibles, some kind. Scarabs. There's also some plates currency, yeah, the, the ancient plates that we don't have a single one. I like when the games like this gives you a little bit more depth. Background music is really... yeah, yeah, like there's some Fez-themed uh, music too. There's the Night of Scandal. At, at least I need to find the map or something, but uh, like, there's no map for this area. Is that a champion? Oh, corrupt bullets. Wait, what the heck is that? It's like a... They pseudo... They have either different pattern or the... Oh, I see, I see. Oh, it's a shortcut. Kill, kill, kill. Ah, stupid Delta targeting. I'm cheesing. Kinda. Ah, no. Dude, I... That was a shortcut. Ah, oh, no, I have to go all the way back there. You know what? Fuck this area. We don't need to even go there. 
Back, yeah, I'm not backtracking. By the way, this is uh, something we can. Oh my god, that's like a crying face. Because of corruption, crystals. This face might fix itself. If you, if I do something on the other side, maybe. Twenty-two AM. What was here, by the way? This track is the Fez, like... I mean, okay, I'm saying Fez, Fez, Fez. Let me show you the Fez soundtrack. Fuck it. Where is it? Oh, there we go. It's one of the main... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so listen now to the in-game music in this area. I really like the ambiguity of future game mechanics and how they affect the environment. Tunic did that really, really well. Just well designed Metro Venus, yeah. Foreshadowing is nice. First opening of the Zelda one. Yeah, yep. You you, you hear now, yeah, it's like a similar motive of this music. It might be actually fucking Zelda uh, to uh, Fez. Uh, this is like a me uh, love letter to the Fez. Who knows? Yeah, 100%. Alright, let's continue. So what is this cave again? Oh, I guess I never was here. Ah, maybe I died here when I started to play in this game. Well, there's a mechanic for torches, which I don't have. Shortcut. Can I get there? Damage off, we need 5, yeah? Damn, we need a lot of things for fire. Fire rate, move speed. Let's get fire rate. Ah, we got, we got in a different zone. Oh wow, I'm shooting way faster now. This might be actually there where I need to go. No iframes on dodges, right? Maybe later I get something. Battery secret on the left. Wait, isn't it the same track but it's slowed down now? Well, not same, but the, the motive slowed down. Yeah, I'm starting to get the Undertale vibes where, like, you know, the composer or developer of the game is just like cheesing the entire soundtrack by utilizing the same motive almost in every song. <laughs> Which is valid. It's, it's nice to uh, feel on a soundtrack with uh, similar motives because, like, you, 
that means that the, that other song is a reference to another place or a thing or a character. Wow, music. Fuck, everywhere there's a shortcut, but that from other signs. Go in a cave. Ah, so we're still in the same cave zones, but in different area. Okay. Opa! I rescued a friend. We need to bring him back, and then maybe I got some. Ability. Wait, did you see it? There was like another ghost, uh, the, the race thing. Wait, what? Where's the dude? <laughs> um, he teleported to the main base. But yeah, check out, check this out. Right down there, there's more. So, yeah. Might find Korok in this shit. Oops. Hmm. Whoa. Currency? <laughs> Team it. Of course, from other side. Bomb. Oh, trap. So the game let me pick up two horns and then I get get to the third one and <laughs> the the aggroes. Shit, I cannot dodge that. This better be lost. Eight currency, that's nice. Oh, uh, uh. Oh. I might be dead. We need to go get that uh, shortcut before I die. Battery. Why the main hub doesn't have a heal? I don't get it. Like, why? Oh, there we go. Oh, he may be gonna teach me how to do something with these rocks. Reveal map. Oh, it tells me location. Oh, that's what I wanted. Locations of caves and buildings. So it upgraded my card. Ah, I need to find different map fragment pieces and then he updates the map for each of them. Yeah. Like, why there's no heal option? This is just energy, yeah. The fastest way to heal is to die. Luckily, this game is not huge in terms of like backtracking and when you have a shortcut, so dying to the main hop is not a big problem. Like in the game like Hollow Knight, that would be insane, yeah. It's 
some areas that are massive there. Whoops. I did it to myself. Is this me or they're really tank? Yeah. Twenty two exactly. Oh my god, that's exactly hmm. sixty five. All right, triple shot. So the boss is there, you yeah. know? It says lost power in that place, so I maybe need that. Okay. Corrupted forest. Come on. So this is the thing that I need to open for some power. Hey, we got a friend. <laughs> zoomy zoom. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah, there you can see there's something that is a line and is smaller here. What is this cave? Even if there's something I couldn't pick before, it's probably like that jump nonsense. Or, well, uh, something I cannot take. Never mind, just a piece. Okay. Hard piece. Maybe I died here in the start of the game. And I went to a different area. I like how the caves are. You can see the other cave. Like, it, there's no cave maps, but yeah, you can kind of like see other. It's like in Spelunky. There's multiple cave entrances and the areas you can see. It's a shop. That makes me wonder... Th oh wait, compass indicates locations that have been cleared. Completely cleared. Oh man, the, the developers are like on a roll for quality of life here. He's happy that I saved him. <laughs> it's a merchant. A village star transports you back to the village. So this is a quote-unquote village, I guess. Ancient Astral Blade. Make its overall completion and at pointers wherever you miss something. Oh! 100% baby is incoming, it looks like. Devs are on a roll. 
What is this tree, by the way? Area. Below me. The bomb is required here. The map spoiled that there's some secret there. Well, not secret, it's like literally something there. The map also shows that there's like another large building. And we got ourselves a compass. So, where does it show? Ah, I see. Beautiful <laughs> lol. Yeah. Yeah, about that. Yeah, a lot of caves are not cleared. Though, I, some of the caves are connected to other caves, so it's not fair to expect that I'm gonna quote unquote clear. Oh. Huh. There might be a button hidden. The lol, what's with this pattern? This wiggly. Oh! Just like that. Another face. Wait, this is the passage. Yeah. So, okay. So we're gonna get bombs here, chat. In this dungeon, mini dungeon. Or maybe it's a full dungeon based mod, since there's only four bosses. Safe point indication is good, though. Hey there, welcome. These bushes, trees, enemies have like a club penguin puff silhouette around the red thing. Oh, yeah, you might be right, actually. Yeah, this, I noticed that in the recent years, a lot of uh, artists or creators, animators are doing like sneaky penguin dance, uh, penguin collab dance meme reference. Oops. I should have paid attention. What I'm fighting. Okay. Let's see if I can upgrade something productive. Oh my god, this game got 17 items? Like, Compass is one of them. Holy shit. So there's only 8 batteries, but 17 items? And w by the way, speaking of powers, we're only missing 2 powers right now. Well, the major ones at least. Okay. Let's get the bullet speed. This thing might be a bait. Well, I mean, the game is 10, 15 hours still, but the four bosses, yeah, I mean, if you are rushed there, yeah. It's like, kind of like Majora Mask. The Majora Mask got, what, four bosses too, right? Instead of seven or eight classic Zelda game. Um... One moment, I need more water, probably. Majora's Mask's boss design is so pog. Like, I think the 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 Zelda Breath of the Wild tried to recreate something similar, yeah, with these like massive these mechanical beasts that is hard to get into. But unfortunately, these beasts themselves were one of the worst dungeon designs. 
and weakest dungeon designs in a series, so yeah. You finally get to this thing and then there's like... Yeah, the secret, yeah, yeah I know, there's probably a secret, I just need water right now. I'll be back one moment. Meanwhile, Majora Mask is like getting to the one... So, man, fuck, I wish I could play these games for the first time. Or, like, getting to one boss in Majora Mask takes so much effort. Like, you need to solve entire connection of areas to get to that boss. Yeah. Anyway. One moment. Alright, I'm back. Can soon transition to night streaming, probably. Or we can end the stream or YouTube segment for the first impressions. I mean, obviously, unless I stream entire night at this game, I don't think I can complete it in one go. And knowing myself, I will be, you know, the... Um, yeah, yeah, the secret down in you guys told me over there. It's just uh, correcting my cables and such. My controller. Just trying to make myself comfy with that. So it doesn't hit that much unnecessary things. Alright, um, so yeah, there's uh, definitely something here. Um, yeah, easy. But yeah, thanks to that compass plus that uh, item that tells you whenever you pick up everything in the area in the secrets. So I'm just, I feel like secrets might be hard to miss. I might miss myself a couple of these um, scarabs. That might totally happen. But I'm confident in my ability to discover mouse content myself. I usually backtrack a lot anyway. Oof. I did it to myself. know why I'm collecting them, by the way. Oh, there was a camera zoom issue. I barely could understand where the exit is, yeah. The, 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 the zoom in on our room. Where did I start this? From here? To the right was the entrance problem. <laughs> this reminds me of like Zelda Oracle of Seasons uh, or Ages where you have to use the that the advanced trick about using the seed of speed or uh, well the speed uh, thing and then the feather jump combo so you actually can get to the diagonal uh, in some places Second one to open. Uh, <laughs> right. If 
Fair enough. One of this room. Just these crystals? This is a common pattern trap in uh, Rook, um, Legacy Rook. Such a simple pattern and yet it messes up coordination. Yeah, I told you, the moment I get four containers, HP becomes non-issue, because the first card is usually some dumb mistake like this, you know, or unavoidable. And then the second time you get hit, all well, the things are getting spicy, because another one, you at one HP, and then you become under pressure. Oh! Hey. <laughs> Is the sound effect of the hidden wall opening. Okay. The damage is so expensive. Six. Goddamn job. It's a major upgrade. Now ah, there's a line version ruined. Crystals. So yeah, it's my personal preference, of course, but I like in video games gems, crystals, and anything 
connected to them, you know, like D&D, loot, you know, good old gems, all sorts of things. Hell, even games like Gemcraft, which are literally just, just video games that are... The entire thing is just gems. Gemcraft is one of them, the IP series. And the theme of this game also is a bunch of like interface and uh, like hearts and uh, the power-ups and crystals and pieces, yeah, shards. Alright, we got center. I think I missed anything. Time to get power up. And a boss? So something guards it. three phases. Alright, let's see. So my prediction is power can... Bomb, probably. Child of the Crystal, the power once mine is now thine. Gather energy from the blue crystals and use my power to exit the shrine. It's a bomb. Yeah, it cl clears the screen problem. Power protection. <laughs> I, it's strange, I had full HP. Yeah. So they want to show us, yeah. It's a full screen clear. If 
effect of limb. But let's see if it actually destroys the, the cracks. Like here. Wow. Hmm, all right. So how does it help us to get to the boss? Just the feature of the, my ship, really. Let me put uh, ASMR in my title and switch. People liking that. This game is also pretty chill, so fantastic. Oh. Something needs to be done to open this. Kills crystals, but not a wall. <laughs> yeah, I think this power doesn't really like salt helps us to solve. Floor anywhere. Hmm, it doesn't give me more items. Maybe I need to buy them all. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep exploring.
Ah, this is the entire game's map, by the way. We see the, the um, scale of it now. The shape. Increases power and range. Time uh, upgrade. I wonder what's that central upgrade. I want fire rate. Fire rate is just damage in different shape. I feel like enemies in this place are easier, so this is probably the, where we need to be, yeah. Great. Ah, the game is recommending me to upgrade. This area too, I think. Destroy 20 big non-boss enemies. Achievement. Wait, what is that? <gasps> oh, they can drop down. It's so maybe these places we've seen at the start of the game. They're achievable to jump down. Fall down, I mean, mechanic. I don't get invulnerability frames when I do that, but it still could, uh, it's kind of like a dodge. like did you know there's another passage to the cave systems good luck finding it first man i cannot like this is literally the face <laughs>
I didn't even click the button and the battle activated. <laughs> Put this button. I'm vulnerable now. Idiots. Hmm. Okay. Seems like we need to get somehow down first if there was an icon but uh, let's hopefully we'll f not forget about that one yeah there's an icon okay so who's in the center can i even kill them like, who's shooting me at the center Developers really liking these faces everywhere. Oh, so close. Ah, it's a water. Hey, Brian. Well, this is also a building, but there's no entrance. piece how that's probably uh, some kind of script uh, I mean like a button or it will disappear once I do something Three golden scarabs. She might have locked, but I have no idea what's them for. Oh, that's a good shit. Secret on the right. 
I can already tell. Nice. One more. Completed, yeah, there's a mark completed. I'll be really surprised if there'll be something else there. Statue. It looks like the statue from the power we just got, and it's absorbing negative energy. Whoa. Wait, should I touch that? That sounds like a bad item. Wounded heart, find source of the corruption. It's a qu uh, quest item. When at low HP, it prolonges into the anger and fear th to double your critic chance. Yes, it's like um, it's the, the Isaac, the Binding of Isaac item kind of thing. <laughs> All right, so you can just miss that. Cool. What about this? It looks like I'm gonna pick up some corrupted hearts, which will be good and bad at the same time. Some games have that. Technically, you need to kill all these things just in case there's a scarab in that inside. Shortcut? Yeah, looks like some kind of shortcut. But what's the point? Button right there, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Second boss already. Well, I mean, sure. We could go. Damn bomb mechanic is gonna be here.
That looks like a nut sack a little bit. <laughs> of enemy reminds me of specific enemy uh, in the space combat in Strike Control 2 or Quan Masters. They have the same mechanic of shooting and then like the Druge ship shooting and then they're recoiling so hard that they move backwards. And also the charge of shot mechanic is the from the male gnome traitor ship. Fuck. So close. I didn't have enough energy for the I clicked it and I was like, nope. Come on, are you serious? It feels like sometimes there is a high frame, like really briefly on uh, the dash. But only if you time it really good. Come on. <sighs> Killing enemies and dying t again. Dude, this is like... <laughs> Stupid mistakes. more mm. 
Also, by the way, props to developers for putting the, these drops, red shard crystals the, that you get from enemies. You don't have to collect them, like, literally, like, you know, every single one. Like, for example, there was one here, and they automatically get grabbed. So I'm not going to worry about that. But yeah, it's people like that kind of thing. In 2024, I waste our time with this pick up bullshit. In some games, of course, it's really not an issue, really, like, picking up things, but for a game like this, where there's uh, hundreds, thousands of these particles... Like, for, for example, for to, uh, you see, this does not pick up immediately, and it's a bit bigger thing. I think the left side of this dungeon is finished. Unless I missed something. No, oh, but damn, is both bombs and the, the flame thing too? left, the most left side. <laughs> Fuck. I have only found one spirit out of eight, and we're already finding the second boss. But yeah, it seems because like we need some mechanics. Like the bomb mechanic is gonna be so good. leads to the bombs. Oh. Now they have different speeds.
There we go. Super shot. Oh, this is energy. Ah, it does both mechanics, fire and the bombs. Ah. Wait, doesn't it also direct the DPS increase? For the energy cost. Nice. Easy mode unlocked. We need another key, um. Well, I mean, now we have to revisit the entire thing. These controls, the uh, controller might be better. Trigger buttons. Ah, so close. Doesn't matter. We were literally here. Dashing the bullet, it feels so bad. another stupid auto targeting what Jesus this is the longest fight I've seen so far. Yeah, it took some stupid damage at the start. Well, I 
Mega, there's only one enemy here that responds and it can actually hurt you by accident. I don't even have the full power, like the shield. Shot is distracting me. I want to dodge more. Oh, oops. I wasted energy. Is there a crystal here? I don't think there's a crystal. Maybe outside. Mm -hmm. Guess not. Skill issue. So it, it makes the battlefield so much easier if you kill those two enemies. Enemies always developers did it on purpose, like skill right now. It's kind of early. There's still plenty of places. See, this is maybe where I need to go. Actually, I didn't even remember. Like, was there anything that required bombs in this section of the dungeon? to revisit like everything.
Nope, just keys. Gonna be surprised if there's a secret like that somewhere. Oh, the boss already? Nah. There's so many other things in the dungeon. I'm not going uh, there yet. Nah. We haven't done everything yet. It was good to clear the passage, I guess. I think the center was the passage for the key, yeah? And the right was the passage for the bombs. But there's probably something that I could have got now with the bombs. Or the super shot, I mean. Yeah, like this. Have the treasure room. By the way, we almost got, if not already, the next gun. What? All this time? <laughs> what the fuck? It's gotta be a troll. to do. Oops.
again just gonna double check wait can I kill this? nah immortal turrets Okay then, well, um, <laughs> need the HP, I guess. Likely there's always here. Oh, super shot upgrade. So that's what it is. Let's go, boss number two out of five total, I guess. The major ones. Speed is actually pretty good here. damage <sighs> nice corruption the second boss defeated two level ups from finding that guy There's gonna be so many things we can do in the world now with this power.
I don't even know where that gate is. Maybe the boss, final boss, will come to us once he's like, the game called him unchosen or something. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the boss itself says uh, completed. Yeah, like I didn't miss anything. All right. That's the location of the third one. Wait, what? But there is the boss main objective. Uh, I guess we need to do something first <laughs> before the actual boss. All right. All right. It would be not a bad uh, um, finish line for the stream, but I kind of want to play more. I want to play more. This game is amazing. Like, basically, the only critique I had uh, at the start of the game was it was hard, hard to uh, f like. I think, the, yeah, the only critique I have is that you cannot restore HP in the main base for some reason. You need to literally die. Maybe it's going to be a feature later, like unlockable, like or item. But there's no reason not to f automatically heal in the inside the the quote unquote village. And again, it's just a cool of life thing. Maybe chat can see some flaw or issue with the game. I don't right now. Sound design, visuals, gameplay, controls. I'm enjoying very much. <clears throat> Should have first recovered my HP the full. this bullshit how to it's 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 a passage from outside like there's another passage yeah I exit ah uh, such a tease another cave system basically Forgetting so that I can use super shot in the combat, but I I don't know. I don't know. How my bullets become the same color as enemies. This should give me full HP, honestly. But it doesn't, right? Oh, never mind. Developers are clever about the limitation of Zelda mechanics. Huge for us in that moment. One of that, it's not like you get damaged. You will never get damaged by that. Oh, 
Oh, what's that? Battery? Wow, this cube is massive. Oh, it's in a different area. Cool. Yeah, the map is displaying me that I can rescue uh, somebody like in the area that I couldn't get before because I assumed the super shot. <laughs> So, there's that. In back seats too. Dude, there's even more stuff. This is where we start. No, ah, uh, no, I have to go through this here again? If, uh, okay. Guess. That sound effect. Like a balloon inflation. Wait, it's a shortcut at the village? Man, everything is connected. Cold jars in a family house. <laughs> There's a chimney for that. Okay. <laughs> By the way, I like how the boss thing. Ah, okay. Um. Says that I completed the underground, but hmm. sixty-five. Okay. Game is saying that there's something here. I am. What kind of NPCs are even left in the game, I wonder? Like, what hell will help they're gonna offer? There's already s so much. and me like I just backseat the game so much myself look at this literally as I was just about talking about it like five minutes ago or something they put in PC that heals you Okay, well, let's get uh, the, the guy there.
in that big uh, uh, place. It's a major, uh, like a, it's a mini dungeon. All right. So this must be important then. Serious on this difficulty, I guess. Cool music in this place, too. things or that only one will spawn actually I kind of want to know that maybe there's an exploit got increased maximum size so my range is uh, further ineffective yeah I think it's the second one didn't spawn okay interesting good job developers Permanent turrets are making things way hard sometimes. Speaking of range.
Man, what is this? Tower of Challenges? Disable the third. Why it's even there? Oh, come on. Tower, I would say. Alright, damn. Cool. Now, let's check out the... Uh... We can buy a weapon, I think, yeah? That's huge. Now, let's say this point, I'm not sure what is the... the, the NPCs are gonna offer what kind of call to fly for feature. Power... Ah, right, scarabs. Probably. Power protection now stuns most enemies. Oh, that's huge. So this is like a trader for scarab currency. Heart piece. Ah, well, yeah, just collect more scarabs, bitch. Got it. Uh, and the other weapon. Gun level four. <laughs> How? Where are you getting these guns from, Mister? Mister Lost Power. So it seems like I need to get that one, huh? Wow. The game is claiming I can get there too. Cool. Otherwise they do not blink. It's a new zone. Sandy zone or something. Nice. Reminds me too of some Zelda track. Though I'm probably too tired right now to remember which one exactly it's. it's like this motive of epicness, and the definitely was somewhere. Now, 
we need to get NPC for the map scan. Here, but ah, um, I remember that. No, yeah, this is the yeah, yeah I remember that. Well, it says that I clear it, so it's fine. Oh wait, the game remembers there's a drop here. It's cool. Almost can kill this Octorok. Yeah. Oh, did you see that big one? Oh my god. Seven months, thank you so much. Take the gold, yes. Mm, what is this? It's like a ah, passage is gonna open after both torches. But only in different place. Yeah, maybe the left one. Ah, and then we're gonna free NPC him. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm trying to remember, was Geruda Valley or Geruda, like, or Desert areas had this something kind of mode of, like, you know, this is Metrovania. Not the roguelite. Game is approximately 10 15 hours. Something will happen if I kill this thing, I think. It's a lock behind the gate, and the, the means there's a trigger for something. Maybe I need to kill this thing. Oof! There we go. Nice. I mean, that was kind of suspicious. Yeah. The two flames uh, here to torches. Gosh. 
patience game. friend another NPC I don't even know what this could be what kind of feature that being said looking at the inventory there is still a tablet currency and uh, there's some three very suspicious uh, items in the middle here key something else and a hard thing yeah. Oh, this game has got beautiful sound design, and honestly, like, it's just a good experience kind of, like, game. I couldn't critique that much at all. I enjoy it very much, and it's a fresh um, game, four days ago released, and it got a lot of concurrent players right now for the metro single-player Metroidvania. Uh, without too much PR, that's pretty good. Thousand concurrent players on Steam. I think also Chinese gamers are enjoying this game. Chinese market is a very huge, obviously. It's a Zelda-inspired Metrovania with twin-stick shooter kind of gameplay. Okay, we need to get the power, but I first want to uh, see what this NPC we just unlocked is. Maybe buying the teleportation item is worth the money. <laughs> Can I do something here? <laughs> this looks like a Goron face. It reduces boost energy consumption. A map piece? Blue forest the map? Oh. Oh. Well, you got currency. Can I buy all that? Interesting enough, we purchased the map that is not inside the said region. Usually you find map in the region, but that was an exception. For some reason the game is saying that I'm quote-unquote haven't completed this tree area. It's probably because I need to buy the, most of these items. If all of them, maybe. I need two more. Maybe he's gonna offer more items. But yeah. I'm... I just need two currency.
there's a bunch of these periods we need to find. So where's NPC? Wait, where is he? <laughs> Did I rescue him? Something breaks from other side and the game does not show me what's there. Ah, such a tease. Such a tease, man. Wait, I might be glitching, but where's the new NPC that I rescued? Chad, did you pay, uh, pay attention to that? Maybe it's in a different area, but then... Forest, all of us because the overworld forest itself. Maybe he's in this place. Ah, ah. Assemble the council. Assemble the council or family. Yeah, okay. I was going crazy on it. like I mean everything so far was here yeah. <laughs> Alright, well uh, let's continue getting the lost power I guess. Would be nice. It's a final power I think. Final cube. Although that is gonna be probably jump. Uh, I'm calling it. It's a jump. Ah, there's an icon. Yeah, I need to kill the worm. Super worm. But as far as I understand, it just spawns randomly. Sit there, there's a dam here and only breakable from other side. Or the water levitation too. That could be another power by the way, but I think it's more like a jump. You know, looking at this. Looking at this, feels like maybe it's a water related something. There we go. That's a Korok here, probably. 
Or that. Hmm, so yeah, I spawned a brand new passage. I, I don't think this was displayed on the map, was it? Anyway, we need to track the bitch. Cheating. Upgrading my sp speed of the boost might be worth it. the desert boss. the map. Or a battery. Yeah, I might be need more batteries too. What is it, Max? I'm I don't think it's enough. speed obviously we don't need the uh... we don't need damage then <laughs> Feeling we need a time stop mechanic or something here because this is uh yeah I don't know maybe the I think I'm not fast enough for this. F 
fuck. There's no way this... I need to be flawless here. Maybe one more better would be better, but whew. I need to get the cuts, cut the corners. up with it. Maker multiplayer. Shit. I'm gonna be fucking breaking this trigger button. Maybe on the keyboard that would be better. One moment. Did you get that camera guy? Kind of One hundred twenty-nine months. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. How you been? Uh, sorry, I was just checking emails. Alright, let's try again. I can do it. It's time to, uh, you know, pro pro project inner uh, aura tour into myself right now. absolutely nothing for that by the way the best part well at least right now <laughs> so I guess from this point on every race is gonna be max speed like this yeah
Right, let's get in the, the mini dungeon. This is the power here. So again, two options, either jump ability or some kind of in, in enhanced hovering uh, to, to get the water situation fixed. thing too. Please disable all these turrets. Oh my god. The screen shake. Happening here. Screen shake is happening now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think the tower might be sinking or something. Well, that is a secret somewhere here. of range up upgrades definitely showing itself in some battles. Hmm. So that opened there. Oh yeah, that's the central room where I can theoretically be. Fuck, I hate these stationary infinite turrets. Because I have to still probably hurt myself by going back and stuff like that.
so what is the point of this room? Ah. And nothing happens. <laughs> to reset my HP. I thought it's gonna open this thing, but... Strange. Yeah, let me find somewhere where I can um, heal. That's a very nice heal. There's a passage there. Yes, I know, I'm just checking. Pedals of dying? Well, you restart to the checkpoint. I just abuse checkpoint. Since I am in the start of the center of the dungeon anyway. There's probably more of these torches I need to lit. Ouch. Sniper guns everywhere. He keeps spawning. Dude, this is me. Holy shit, this room is mean. Finally, I think I overpowered it. Could they just infinitely spawn here? I mean, uh, the game doesn't. I mean, the game lets me go out, so I, maybe they do spawn infinitely. How challenging is the game to someone who beat a Karuga 1 CC? <laughs> Man, shout out to the people who remember. It's a chill uh, Metrovania. I mean, I'm playing a hard difficulty, but. Uh, I think I would say the difficulty in this game is just about right for most people in the world, minus the people who need accessibility options like this. The difficulty is just right. the final um, torch. Nice. <laughs> we can buy now the hard piece. Yeah, four torches opens the Nidos Kennel. And Nidos Kennel, I assume, will lead me to the power. Piece of shit. It's okay. Checkpoint abuse.
fuck, of course there's gonna be a bunch of HP. Boss. It's a guardian again. Probably more advanced version. Control 2. Yeah, but some of these battles kind of feel like Star Control 2 uh, dogfights. Damn, it's kind of hard to hit the backside of him. for the people who play Toha. <laughs> well, and to extend the Karuga too. I mean, I don't expect this game to be hardcore done like we. So, yeah. It's fine. Get fucked. So now the big question, what kind of power we're going to get? And it's also final one, the major one, apparently. See, we got one, one slot left. Either it's uh, water-related floating or um, it's the jump. Ah, or a time, yeah, the, that I can also, yeah. Actually, this is definitely not a final one because we can see in the interface we have the... Uh... Ah, you, by the interface icon it looks like some kind of jump rocket boost, maybe. It's like vertical, maybe, yeah. And then there's a time icon, hourglass. Teach me. Oh, great ancient. LB. Wait, I never had anything on LB before? I guess I didn't. So what it does... <laughs> Power of time. I guess I should have activated before. <laughs> it just slows down everything. Oh, 
like when they start charging, I think you have to activate. Too late, and I could have boosted also, I guess. I just was expecting the power is gonna be more, I guess, like, it's gonna slow down time uh, more. But yeah, okay, now we've got the powers. Now the game suggests me to go there. Okay, then. So we still don't have a solution against the water. And, um, jumping. We haven't really been in the forest yet. Probably can get some batteries in the forest. But yeah, let's first uh, buy the currency and shit. So I think there's um, something in the corner there in the map. I don't think we explored that part. What, is that a button? Platforms that will arise from asset. Champ, oh, curse champion. These are actually extreme rare enemies. I've seen only two of them in the entire game. Which game have this? Uh, the, the curse enemies? Uh, bullet, bullet, bullet. Uh, the gungeon, yeah, gungeon. And it's not roguelike, so this is one time kill. I still assume it's double damage. Is this thing they're gonna die or what? Battery, nice. Perfect. Supposed to be shape of the Urn uh, merchant, but it looks like Gordon. I guess he doesn't restock. Completed. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so um, what else? Uh, buy uh, Scarab, yeah. Is the next purchase here? 
idol of time. Power of time slows time even more, except for you. Cool, that's exactly what I actually wanted. <laughs> Can I go here? The, the developers are like the crying phase, and it's like, oh man. These details. Hmm, well, the game suggests me to go to that zone finally. I guess it wouldn't be a bad idea. It was uh, quite tough enemies there. What the fuck is this? I guess I need to get to the from cave. Or here. got here really early in the game too. There we get dash. So this currency is definitely limited. You cannot farm it. The big monsters die in one time and that's it. And we got another container. Nice! Epic. What is the sun key thing, by the way? Yeah, since the start of the game, I was wondering. It's a very special place here. Wow, I need to be from somewhere else. Probably family member. <laughs> but yeah, this place is will definitely not have finished. This is a really big area. It's like wow. The fuck? I need jumping power probably or that's impossible. There's a switch blocked by the destructible thing. Yeah, rocket jump or something, I don't know. 
Mm, okay. Music changes. Wait. Ancient tablet? Ah, it's an NPC inside the the, the, the the village now. Yeah, I don't have a mechanic even for that, yeah, the tablets. So that thing is connected to this whole shit here? Wow. Kinda low-key impressed. <clears throat> this is not even a family member or a council. <laughs> Yeah, like how much effort it'll. It's like a scarab's here, dead, and then there's a key here. There's so many cave entrances here, too, you can see. Have I came from here? Actually, what is in the center? I think there's like a four different entrances. Plus the central thing. Could be used as a shortcut too, huh? This one is a barely shortcut. Yeah. <laughs> you see, there's definitely passage there, but uh, what that prevents me. I was expecting Korok. Hmm. Maximum range. So that's the maximum range, by the way. Did you? Did, these coconuts were changing texture, or they're just stacked together, or something. There's like a, a whole thing is changing. Yeah, like look, yeah, there is one, but I cannot hit them. Feels like a gate. The worst part about it, there's actually a map here. Yeah, the boss even like so. There is definitely something exists. I'm a little too early for that. But am I stuck? Yeah, 
remember that place. It's the early game. And even so, I mean, there's a, the indicator that I haven't finished that dun dungeon uh, cave. So. Um, let's try to finish it. here by the way well you will probably <laughs> find it now and we're gonna get actually more emails too eventually shit this is early game passage I remember it but like uh, it's connected to these like maybe that cave above maybe this is where we had also first ever race I think in fact this might be the reward after yeah so basically this cave That crystal looks like advanced energy. This alone makes me sus. This really feels like I need rocket ability here. Metrovania game, yes. Fresh and really good. Uh, in fact, it's so good that I don't even know how to critique it. <laughs> Ten fifteen hour average apparently. Pretty good. Yeah, this is the race. And if I go that way it's gonna yeah, it's gonna push me to that area, I think. I mean, like, this is the only place I can check. Yeah, and this goes like this, yeah. So I need to get that item, which is impossible. One more for damage. Okay, let's just go to the other area then. I really feel like I need to buy that item to teleport me back to the city. But it's like optional. Can you rescue an NPC from here now? Seems like, yeah, mini dungeon. at the bottom anyway and we were not at full HP yeah. big brain could be scared inside
There we go. NPC. Probably family member. I mean, who else is left, right? Okay, we need to find a map of this area. Should be somewhere obvious, right? Oh man, and now I'm one-shotting these things almost. I, I remember when I came here, it was like... So many issues. Like, I remember there was like a place where I almost reached the checkpoint, but I died. Heart piece. Is it for the little jump, probably, I'll say. Yeah. I want it to be, I think. I need to go up. Oh, what's this? Oh. Four of them? Oh my god. Help. I'm stuck. Tablet there. We still don't know what the tablet actually does when we, you know, use NPC. Huh? This house is so sus, like fucking impossible to get there without water ability or something. Same cave system I just came from, right? <laughs> These things are destructible and I could be scared in them. Well, only when there's a suspicious pattern. I don't remember the path how I managed to get to the top. from here. Now this is where I rescued NPC right now. I hope I'm not missing the map somewhere really obvious. Like I was there before but it was from some kind of passage. Maybe here. targeting is oh god oh wait low HP is at two containers now that's cool Fuck, I 
week. It'll also get there. exploring here just uh, casually and then I somehow managed to get there and now I cannot. here. Yeah, I think from here, yeah. And then I went too deep. I was not here before, but see some new progress. So I guess I went here, yeah. Is the yeah yeah I remember that I was like, why does the zoom there? And this is where I found the secret answer, yeah. Carib. So there's probably a tunnel here, yeah, that goes to the danger zone, yeah. And this is where I died. Because there was like the champion jumper dude. And I have four containers, if not three that part of the game. Where the fuck is Mem though? <laughs> I mean, I guess I could play without Mem, but still would be nice to have Map. Theoretically, we could have explored this area before getting the um, super shots, so... Oh, another merchant. There's the piece. There we go. <sighs> That's huge. Yeah, it seems like the final boss is gonna be right here in this acid area. Or not final, but number four. I meant to say. Lucky heart increases the chance to drop life hearts and from enemies. Contains a piece of forgotten history. Okay.
Nice shopkeep. Yeah, honestly, as we go further from the map, this feature of teleportation would be nice. But again, optional. <laughs> At least now I know how to get around. This piece of land. And then just straight dash. It's not as many um, um, places as I thought it would be there, but maybe some of them are hidden. Yeah, like I need to reveal them first. Okay. What is this mechanic? Chosen was summoned to return the primordial powers, but in gulf and glory and pride, Chosen refused to yield. So there's unchosen and chosen, I guess. And then he became unchosen. And so I guess we need more piece of pieces for Lord. Cool. And I'm looking at a timer of the uh, uh, stream and uh, the and the uh, you know it's 3 a.m. here. I think it's a good place to finish the stream because we just literally got a major progress unlock a uh, map of this new sector, and we need to uh, you know do the bunch of things there. All right, well. Probably beyond 50% of the game completed, plus minus collectibles and a bunch of stuff we need to collect, yeah. As you can see, really cute game. Really, really cute. And uh, as far as my first impressions, <laughs> if it still matters, yeah. Again, I... I don't know how to really critique this game. Everything feels like in the right place, the difficulty is just right, the scaling of battles, yeah. Like, I mean, you might say it's a little... Like, I mean, it, this game type performs as it should be. It's not going to be like Hollow Knight or something. It's not going that direction, obviously. Um, I mean, you need to remember games like Aquaria, for example. I don't know if somebody in the chat remembers that beautiful gem of the game when there was not that many indie games in, uh, you know, Braid and Super Meat Boy was like a special treatment kind of game and... Aquara is uh, one of the OGs, if you will, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm uh, very happy with the game, and I think I can even finish it maybe in tomorrow's stream. Though uh, I might do some other stuff tomorrow, like another maybe first impression game. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is uh, really cute and uh, very much enjoying it. So you can totally ex expect uh, uh, next day to a video on YouTube and of course the, to, uh, the stream. Thanks everyone for lurking, watching, shout out to my Ko-Fi supporters and all sorts of other uh, amazing people who support me with the, you know, free ways, if you will, yeah, like liking tweets, uh, Discord stuff and just, you know, being a part of our uh, shenanigans. All right, I will end uh, the video here on the stream. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.